been here three days and some strange part of me longs for the space stations. I have no idea why. There was no there there. Nothing was real. Even in my own bed, my own unit never felt like I was home. I wanted to run away and start over with a whole new hand. 22 light years from nowhere. Some planet dancing circles around some scorching sun. Me, some nomad on a six-wheeled camel looking for shade. <laughs> Not exactly the new hand I was looking to be dealt. Vehicle halts. Hey, Danziger! Why are we stopping? One designed for long hauls. It's a mining vehicle. Be damned if I'm gonna burn her out the first day. Our pilot's a different man now. When I met him, he was fearless. Sucked the marrow out of life. Kid thought he could outrun gravity forever. Gravity caught up with him. Brought you some painkillers. Thanks. You any more dreams? I'm not gonna have them anymore. That's done with. How do you know? I mean, whatever they are, they contact you, right? Are you just never going to go to sleep again? Alonzo? Alonzo? Alonzo, are you listening to me? Tie this on these Kevlar straps. Keep coming undone. Yes, we got a problem. We got a problem here. I've been thinking. The cyborg. We shouldn't have one of those things with us. It's not safe. Morgan, what are you talking about? Yale is as nice as can be. Yale, exactly. They're defective, remember? Morgan, we didn't have Yales where I grew up. We had school. Nobody had Yales, Bess. Except the richest families. A kid in my sector had one. Till his memory wash failed. Cyborg jumped 41 stories. They had to scrape them up off the station floor. These things, they're loose cannons, Bess. They were supposed to have been recalled when I was a kid. All the Yales. The entire personal tutor project. How come this thing's still around? Well, let's load them up, folks. We're moving out. None of us knows what they did to that kid, Ulysses. Those creatures that stole them underground. Maybe we're too afraid to ask. Come on, Yuli. You've walked enough. It's time to get in. It's okay, Mom. I'm not tired yet. The boy certainly has your stubborn streak, doesn't he? <laughs> I didn't ask if you were tired, Yuli. When did you last get your vitals taken, huh? I want them taken every hour. Fifteen minutes ago. Good. We're picking up a hitcher zero. setting of camp at the end of each day come the new unknowns life on the stations never prepared us for. The coming darkness, the chill of night, the terror of sleep. How will the Tyrians visit us next? From below our feet? In our dreams? Will they reach out to our children? Here's a piece. A puny one. We should have loaded up on wood before we left the last place. They had good wood. Better fortunes over there. Okay. Nice, yeah. The Terrians were keeping me. They taught me all about their cool Terrian stuff. Like, like the way they can stretch their arms really long. So they don't have to get up if something's too far away for them to reach. Down there. And, and the way 
their caves and wind around so that it can confuse their enemies. <laughs> Guys, delirious or something. Finally made it. Measure what good he is. Just rest. We're here. It's okay. We're here. Hey, buddy. Hey, listen to me. Are you the only person here? Is there anyone else? She thought we were the only people here. Shut up. You're the stupid one. You are. I thought you children were told to be in your beds. Now, did you think we were joking? Did you? No. I cannot overstress the seriousness of you both following your directives here. Everything here is life and death. Do you understand? Who is Yale? We don't know. We are trying to find out. He's obviously very hurt. Are the Terrans going to come up when we're sleeping and come get us? No. No. I'm not scared. Even if they do, the Terrans are my friends. <laughs> Go to bed, Yuli. Good night. Good night. Stranger travels light, carries only a story. Name's Go. Says he was an astronaut, Pontel 7 project. His cold sleep timer malfunctions. Ship's dragged into this sun's orbit, crashes. Guy thinks he's headed home, but wakes up here. No people for a billion miles, stranded 15 years on this unknown planet. Just the horror of loneliness to keep him company. Now he's found us to welcome him. Someone should tell him I'm not the welcoming kind. Can't sleep either, can you? Come again? You. This godforsaken planet won't let you sleep either. How did you know? I know. I can feel a kindred spirit. Is it the Tarians? Have they found you yet? Did the monsters visit in your dreams? How do I get them to stop? I wish I knew. You didn't come here to rescue me, did you? We had no idea you were here. You came to found a colony, build a hospital for the children who can't survive on the space stations. And your son was one of these children? Yes. We, uh, we're preparing to move eastward. We have no intention of being in any one place for too long. Our hope is to traverse this continent and be establishing a colony in New Pacifica within 11 months. We can't offer you a way home for some time. I wish we could. 
We would like you to come with us. Leave here? I should like that very much. God, 15 years, no other humans. I mean, can you even picture what that must have been like? I imagine he doesn't really know how long he's been here. Because the days are so much shorter here and the years so much longer. And him being a, a Ponto 7 astronaut just, just lost like that. Yeah. What is Ponto 7? Galactic Exploration Project. One man vessel exploring an 11 light year radius from Earth's sun. It was essentially a pork barrel made the defense contractors happy for a couple of decades. Mission was scrubbed in 2168. 3,000 missions are not one shred of usable reconnaissance data. Basically charting meteors. Wow. You know a lot, yeah. Hi. Um, last night when you came to us so bruised and beaten, how did you get so hurt? Grandless. I... Grandless is what I call them anyway. Slobbery rodents wouldn't blink to rip the arm from your shoulder. And they could. Guess you haven't had the pleasure. No. Uh, I... I think I've seen one of those things. Short, squat, ugly thing. Hi, I'm Morgan Martin, Deputy Secretary of Interstellar Development. How are you? Guess you've seen one then, friend. Last night when I saw the lights from your camp, I thought it was a mirage. My rescue is here finally after all these years. Then two of them ambushed me, cleaned me out of everything I had. We had a cargo pod. Everything that we brought was stolen. An, an aircraft, vehicles. That's the grandiose way. Traders by nature, but not above a little larceny. Julia, can you come up here? Um, oh. Uh, excuse me. I guess she does it out of hunger. What? Who? Little girl. Sealing extra rations. Hiding them in that satchel of hers. Stealing food rations. Oh. Well, I guess her father will reprimand her in time. Sorry, kid, you can't have everything. Play by the rules. Give it to me! No! Let it go, Morgan. It's not hers. It's you... all of ours. You can't keep secrets from us, crew. We're all in this together. Ah! 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 Oh. oh, my God. Oh, my God, God. Ah. What are those varmints? Ah. Ah. Morgan. Beth. Morgan. Oh! oh Morgan. Morgan, what's happening to him? Morgan, Julia! Oh. He's got toxins everywhere. There's lots of heartbreak. Cardiovert! That's not working. Cardiovert! Come back to me, Morgan! 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 Let me give it a shot. Let me give it a shot. Old-fashioned military method. Danziger. Big, big move. He's lost. Danziger. That's enough. That's enough. 
Your husband will pull through. Please don't say that, Gaul. He's dead. There are secrets of this planet you do not yet understand. He is not dead. I've been stung by these rodents a dozen times, and I'm still here to tell the tale. What are you talking about? The worst effect their stings have on humans is to put them into a state of coma for a short while, maybe a day or two, at the best of my estimation. He will wake up. Give him time. You mean it's not fatal? I guarantee it. Oh, my God. Our commander was stung two days ago. We thought he was dead. And we buried him. The chances that Commander O'Neill was still alive, buried under five feet of earth, probably six million to one. But we weren't going back for him. We were going back for ourselves. We couldn't live not knowing. Oh, my God. Grendel's got here first. Preliminary resonance scan of the area show no sign of human body warmth, at least not above ground. Let's organize a search party immediately, okay? Sure. How are we doing? Amazing, the strength coming back to his lungs. The levels are almost normal. I think I'm like maybe becoming part Terrian or something, and we could ask the Terrians to help us, you know, find Commander O'Neill, and I could ask them, because they think I'm probably their prince or something, and they could just command them. You were sick for a very long time, Ulysses Adair. I want you to take it easy. You don't want to end up back in your immuno suit, now, do you? No. He really is showing strength. His mother wants him rescued. I'll be back soon. Where'd you go? I saw you coming back from the north this morning. North, south, east, west. I was out looking for your good commander. Unsuccessfully, I might add. All uh, right. Well, do me a favor, will you? Anything. Next time you decide to go wandering off, let somebody know. Keep us from worrying about you. Of course. The Grendlers, you know, they're like ants. Strong, ruthless. Can carry seven times their own body weight. Crush a man's skull with one hand if they wanted to. I've managed to trade with some of them over the years. May I have your permission to try to contact them in the search for our good commander? How do you plan on doing that? Well, I speak their language. Yes. I know you probably don't care, but I just want to say I feel bad. I mean, I didn't mean for anything to happen. I just thought the couple was my friend. You're right, Drew. I don't care. Working gets better. Thank you. You're a smart person, True. 
I'm trusting that you don't have to learn your lesson a third time. Oh, ma'am. Can I wait here with you? How to run now. You gotta bend your knees. That's important. Bend them. Lift them up. Nice and high. Like that. Okay, good. Now, when you see a rock, you gotta see it before you get there and jump over it. That's coordination. And you move your arms. All right? Lift your knees, ready? Okay, let's go. That's it. That's it. Lift them up there. Lift them up. Jump over those rocks. Atta boy. That's good. That's excuse good. me, no. excuse me. What are you doing with my son? We're just taking advantage of some of the wide open spaces around here. What happened to your knee? Nothing, Mom. I was running. It's called a scream. I want you to go see Juliana right away. Hey, your kid is healed, Adair. You got your wish. Let him breathe I a little. I'm pushing him at my own speed. And please don't tell me how to be a parent. I see how you manage your own daughter. Now, what's that supposed to mean? It means I think I would know what kind of pets my kid was keeping. Listen, we are all doing this for the first time. I would just stop making what assumptions about how people raise their that? kid. What is that? Oh, easy. Let me deal with the creature. Yeah, come check this out. Mangiest looking thing in the whole universe wouldn't even wipe his mouth. I think I'm gonna puke. Well, we shouldn't judge these grandlers by any standards of good hygiene. No, oh, he's quite an And he's coming back. Hey, he's coming! What happened? Your good commander is still alive. Oh. They have him? That one says he knows where he is. So how do we get him back? Brent doesn't want to trade. They asked for your three power generators. Power generators? We won't survive without them. I know. I talked him down. To what? One.
I don't know where they held me. The creatures kept me from seeing. It seemed like it was underground. That's my best guess. Most vermin. If I thought any of you had any guts, we'd hunt them down tonight. Any takers? Why, uh, why don't you just get some rest, Father? What is all so happy that you're here? Thanks to Gaul's help. Well, whatever they are, I heard words. Nothing made sense to me. But they can talk. Incredible mimics, the Grendlers. I taught a few of them a, a handful of jargon over the years. Spread like the wind. Come here, son. What did they do to you? We don't really know. They heal me. His whole metabolism seems to have strengthened, even on the molecular level. Well, welcome to the world of the breathing. How are you holding up? to rescue you from your demons. What the hell do you want, Martin? I need to know something, Commander. Uh, you know that rodent thing that stung you? Well, it stung me, too. And um, for a while there, biologically speaking, it seemed like we were both dead. What's your question? Well, uh, for that little time there, when you were dead, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, I... I don't know. Scary place. There was bright light everywhere I couldn't see. And there was this scratching sound, constantly gnawing. I can't think of any place worse. Nowhere. Is that sort of where you went? No, Martin. I went to a better place. I finally felt like I was home. Oh. Oh, wow. You think I went to hell? I think you just weren't ready to die yet, Martin. Hey, Yuli, what you doing? Watching for Tarians. 
Next time I see one, I'm going to make friends with him, bring him back to the camp so everyone can meet him. What are you doing? Well, I thought I'd go for a little run. You know, just around, take advantage of all this space. Think it's safe? <laughs> you sound like my husband, Yuli. I'm bringing my gear. Hey, you want to come with? Just admiring. Ah. I never made it to Earth. <clears throat> never saw one of these land vehicles. Well, I only got there once before myself. Tour back in 64, Indian Ocean. Word is you were with the Pontel 7 project. Worked for my old pal Larrabee. <laughs> Sorry, no. Larrabee? Yeah, he headed up the project. Damon Larrabee. A gap between his teeth bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> no? No. Well, maybe you were before his time. Well, I must have been. I was one of their nascent missions. Ah. Listen, what was the deal with those Pontel ships? What was their fuel source? Antimatter? I've been alone on this planet for 15 years. No one to keep me company. <laughs> Actually... I count myself lucky that I've yet to go insane. I've forgotten my days as an astronaut. It was a different lifetime. Uh, of course. Broderick, can, uh, can I talk to you for just a minute? Sure. Allow me to um, excuse myself. Thank you. What's up? I'm worried about you. I am fine. I know that your every instinct is to be out there seeking retribution. <laughs> what are you thinking, Devin? O'Neill's a loose hand, he's gonna go out and get himself killed again, is that it? I know that going through what you went through to the other side like that must, uh, must make you feel invincible or something. Uh, what, you've been talking to Morgan Martin or something? Actually, I have. <laughs> well, Diane didn't make that guy feel invincible, did it? Just use caution. Always. Take it easy, Yuli. waiting for you. Oh, okay. Let's get going. Hello, Ulysses. What are you looking at? Maps, routes to New Pacifica. I went for a run. Mm. I'm sorry, Mom. I'll take better care of myself. I know how much you've done for me. Will you please go get your immuno suit? Immuno suit? It's right inside. Why do you have it out again? I mean, I'm healthy, right? Please. Oh, 
healthy, right? You, you understand, right? We have a space problem, Yuli. We have this immuno suit, and uh, we don't know where to put it. You mean I don't have to wear it again? No. But now that you can take care of yourself, Yuli, you have to take care of your things. And the suit is yours, and you need to find a place to put it. I can do that. I know you can. Thanks. Just call me a magpie, Commander. My <laughs> gut told me you weren't Ponto, so. Thought it was a pretty good story myself. Fooled the others. Who the hell are you? How'd you get here? Oh, I'm just a poor boy being punished, Commander. Figured they were keeping this place a secret. I assume that a man of your rank... You weren't sent here alone. Where are you? Oh, I had company. Others like myself who the space stations didn't want around anymore. So here they sent us. The undesirables. Killers, rapists... A penal colony. Well, what the hell happened with the others? We were craven, Commander. Only I was just a tad more craven than the others. I won the survival contest. Why don't you have a weapon, Commander? That makes you think I don't. Because I guess you would have used it by now. No, not necessarily. No! Do you have to die, Commander? Because I can accommodate you. I've killed 26 now. 20 on the stations. Six after I got here. Your friends are in peril, Commander. In time, the women... Needy of guidance will follow me. And the men, they will follow you. To hurt the others! Do it. I tried to fight them. What? What happened? Thank God. 
Every day we discover only how much more we have yet to learn about this planet, how to survive here. Commander Broderick O'Neill learned his lessons twice. Maybe now he knows something we don't. New Pacifica still beckons. For some, it's the place that holds the promise of Eden. For others, it's our best hope to get home. We don't know how we'll get there, don't know what dangers lie ahead. But at least we have a guide now. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.